What is going on? This is Altone, and this is the DJI Mini 2 Intelligent Flight Battery. The DJI Mini 2 Intelligent Flight Battery is a two-cell LiPo battery. And essentially what a LiPo battery is, is a lithium polymer battery. And this one just happens to have two cells in it. The other thing about this fantastic little device is it has electronics in it that allow it to charge discharge and actually protect the actual battery within the battery <laughs> from damage and to help to last much longer than it normally would it holds a charge of about 7.7 .7 volts and has a capacity of about 2250 milliamp hours so the dji intelligent flight battery is actually rated about 31 minutes of flight time and of course that's going to be in ideal conditions for me personally the most flight time that I've been able to get out of a fully charged battery in my Mini 2 has been about 24 minutes. The smart charging function on the battery allows it to charge the two cells simultaneously and balance out the voltage between the two cells so that as you're using your drone is getting the best performance out of the battery possible. Not only that, but if one of the cells becomes damaged, the Mini 2 will let you know that there's a damaged cell in the battery. And at that point, you'll probably want to replace your battery. So one of the ways the electronics in the DJI Mini 2 Intelligent Flight Battery protect the battery itself is that if the battery is fully charged, after a day, it will automatically discharge itself down to about 96%. And after about nine days, it will discharge down to 76%. So one of the things that you also want to be aware of, especially we're just coming out of the winter, we're getting ready to go into the spring and the summer, the DJI Intelligent Flight Battery will not charge if the temperature is below 41 degrees Fahrenheit or above 104 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you go out to fly, if you're recharging your batteries, you'll want to make sure that they're warm enough that, you'll, that they'll actually charge. Not only that, but do not, in the summertime, allow your batteries to sit in the sun for long periods of time. Because even though the temperature outside may not be over 104 degrees, if the battery from sitting in direct sunlight actually gets to above 104 degrees it will not charge now the electronics will also do its best to keep the battery level from dropping too low on the battery because if it drops too low it could do damage to the battery or to the cells for safety purposes it will not put your battery in a hibernation state while it is in the air flying so if you're getting warnings that your battery is low or you or your drone is attempting to return to home because of a low battery state you are going to want to either allow it to return to home or you're going to want to land as quickly as possible so that you do not damage your battery. This battery with this electronics communicates back to your controller and your connected mobile device to let you know the status of the battery. This way you can make decisions and manage how you're going to be using your drone dependent upon the percentage of battery life that you actually have left in your battery. So I hope that helped you in some way. If it did, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments section. Let me know what your thoughts are on the DJI Mini 2 Intelligent Flight Battery. Have an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to talking to you again in the next video.